hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing some amazing ways that you can take some of dollar tree's glassware to make awesome diys and home decor so nice and easy let's jump on in i'm gonna start off with these beautiful wood plaques here these wooden boards these are really nice i like the design on them i'm just removing that sticker and then you can attach them either way you want you can see the line sort of matches up i'm gonna put it the other way because i like that it makes a diamond when you put it together so i'm gonna place it together using some crazy glue along with hot glue and you do want to use something other than hot glue um along with the hot glue because you want to make sure that it's going to be nice and sturdy and this is going to be a heavy piece so you just want to make sure everything is nice and sturdy and stable so i'm just going to attach it there and press it really tightly and you can see it makes that nice diamond in the middle and then i'm going to take more of that crazy glue and i'm going to just run it along the entire back where they meet because I want to completely seal that line and I want to make sure that it's not going to break apart. Um, so I'm just going to put that there a nice amount and now you can see it's all together and I really like how it looks. And so right on the edges of this piece you can see that they're just bare and naked. So I have this little tape here that's the perfect size to add on the edges of this. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to run it along the entire thing. And this is just going to dress it up a little bit just to make it look, you know, even more decorative and nice when you look at it. Um, and I did pick this one because I like the colors, but they do... Uh, come with more to choose from I got them off of Timu so if you want I can leave the link to it in my description in case you want to find the same ones but you can see it fits absolutely perfect on the edge so I'm just gonna go slowly so I don't you know get it over the edges or anything get it nice and even and I'm going to do that all the way around and once I am done I am going to add Mod Podge over it just to really seal it in and make sure the tape won't come off and then once it's completely dry I have these hurricane candle jars these are a really nice color and I love them. I want to attach them to this piece but of course we need something really strong so I'm using E6000 along with hot glue and I'm attaching them right down to the board and I'm just using the line sort of as a guide to see where each one needs to be placed. I'm sort of placing them at the end of the corner of each diamond side that way I know that it's pretty much even and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in with a little bit of these rocks that I have left you can find these at Dollar Tree they do have them in white like these and they do have different colors as well so you can just pick whichever one you prefer and then I'm gonna add these candles right down on top of it and I think that's super cute I didn't just want to add the candles down inside because it will be too low and um so yeah i just wanted it a bit elevated and for it to look nice with those rocks and then for the last step i am going to add some of these eucalyptus stems going around that candle jar just to dress it up a bit more and give it a pop of color and i just love how this diy turned out it looks really high end and it is really heavy and sturdy so it feels high end as well and here is the final result you can see how beautiful it is and i just love it and it came together so quickly this is just a nice way to use those hurricane candle jars let me know what you think of this diy because i love to hear your thoughts Next up, I have here this napkin in this beautiful blue flower pattern. And I want to use this to place over this 
bottle here this clear bottle that you can get from Dollar Tree and I know that it might be hard to kind of find these bottles because they don't have them in all the time but when I saw them I picked it up quickly because I know that they sell out but if you can find them that is great or if not you can do this on any jar you would like but I want to apply this napkin onto the bottle so I'm going to take my Mod Podge and apply a nice layer and then I'm going to attach the napkin. You want to be really careful because since we took off the second ply of the napkin it is really delicate so it can rip really easy and the reason why I took off the second um, ply of the napkin is so that way it can be nice and you know more better onto the bottle rather than having two pieces and it's going to be a little bit harder to get it to stick on so i'm just attaching it now and you can see i'm rubbing all of the edges to make sure it goes on nice and well and then i'm just going to continue on adding more mod podge and wrapping the napkin around it and just pressing it nice and you know softly with my hands so that it can go on and try to be as flat as it could then i'm just going to take my scissors to cut off that excess and i'm going to sand down all of the excess napkin and it comes off really easy without much effort so you can see it's just going to fall off nice and easy and i do take the sand block and i go over the edge that i cut directly on the bottle so that way you can't tell that I cut it and it's almost seamless right there so just take your sandpaper or your sand block and sand it down really softly then I want to take this beautiful royal blue ribbon and I want to attach it to the top of the napkin this is just going to hide the seam of the napkin if it's not perfect and it's going to dress it up just a bit and I really love this because it ties in with the blue florals perfectly so I'm just going to attach it with a little dot of hot glue wrap it around and finish it off with another dot of hot glue and that is it for the ribbon so you can see here i'm just cutting off that excess so i can finish it off and you can see how beautiful it is coming together now this diy is more of an you know kind of an upcycle or just to dress it up make it look a little bit fancier or bougie if you'd like some nice stuff that is not just um not just a clear bottle and you can see i'm adding a layer of mod podge on top to seal it in along with a diamond right there and you can see just how much fancier this bottle looks and i love it it's so much more nicer than just a clear bottle if you want to make something nice like this for a gathering wedding you know any event i think it's really nice let me know what you think next up my friends this one is just so darling and cute and you guys you can make this in literally a couple minutes so don't blink because it's literally that fast so we're gonna take this jar this was just an old recycled jar from some peaches so i like to keep jars whenever i get them from you know like uh stuff like that because it's just nice to recycle and they're just perfect jars that you don't have to buy again at dollar tree or whatever you know store so i have the jar and some q-tips along with white paint and i just dip the q-tip inside of the paint and i'm going and i'm making dots around each other as you can see here so you can put a total of five or six dots it just depends on how big you are making them you just want to put them in a circle motion so that way when um we are done they look like flowers so you can see i'm using the white here but you can absolutely make these flowers with any colors that you want so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make a couple of the white um rounded flowers before i add the center into each one that way we can sort of speed up the process we just have a couple done already so you can see here it's just in a circle motion making those dots you just want to make sure you don't have too much on that q-tip so that way the dots don't drip down or anything like that 
So now I'm going to take another Q-tip and this yellow paint and I'm just going to dip it in and this is going to be the center of my flowers. And if you don't see it yet, you will see it now, the flowers there, that they look so pretty onto this clear jar and I absolutely love it. I think it's so simple but the decor that's so simple is my kind of taste. Let me know if you like simple decor as well and stuff that you can pull together quick and you know stuff like that so you can see i'm adding the little centers of the flowers and they are coming together and i love it so once you have that you can see them up close here um i do like to dry them a little by little once i do a couple of them so that way i don't risk um touching one of them and messing it up so that is how it looks with all of the flowers on there i decided to just put it on the bottom of my jar but you can put them all over the jar if you want it it's completely up to you and now i'm going in with some juice string because i want to wrap it around the top of the jar and i just wrapped it around maybe five or six times and you can see here i'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of hot glue so it can stay put and then i decided i wanted to add a touch of color so i'm going to take these green beads and i'm going to bead them onto the juice string and i'm going to take two of them and i'm going to add it to the top of the jar sort of hanging down so that way it can look nice and give it a pop of color and i thought that would be super pretty so you can see here that it is just like a decorative touch and make it you know dress it up a bit more at the top there and since i added those green beads i decided to go in with some green paint and just add some leaves here and there for those flowers so i took a really fine brush you can see the tip there is really pointy and you just want to dip it in the paint and go right on the side just like that one or two little movements and you have those nice fine leaves for the flowers and i think it looks absolutely pretty here is the final look now you can use this jar for anything you want you can put utensils pens markers or reusable straws as what i have in there right now i think it looks super pretty and i love it and it was super easy to put together and this would be super fun for if you have kids as well i'm pretty sure they would love to make this diy last up for today i have one of these clear glass mugs i really love these mugs i think they are just super jumbo and what better that they are clear so you can adjust it to whatever you like or you can diy them you can use them for personal use for your drinks i just love them but anyway i'm gonna give a coat of brown paint inside because i want it to look like there's coffee inside of here and i thought that this was a super cute idea and this is sort of um a prop diy so this is perfect for also if you are doing a birthday party that is themed coffee themed maybe starbucks themed who knows but you can make this diy and it is so cute or you can just prop it in your kitchen because who doesn't love coffee let me know if you are a coffee lover or more of a tea lover or just something else um but uh i love coffee so i'm just going to make this for my kitchen and you can see that coat of paint inside of there and you can see that i stopped i didn't go all the way to the top of the mug because i want it to look like there is liquid inside so if it's all the way full it's just going to look a bit you know weird so once that was painted and dried really well i do want to go in with one of these coffee stickers this comes with a whole bunch of different coffee stickers that i got off of timu and i decided to place one down that has the cute little coffee beans right to the center and then i'm just going to trace the bottom of the cup so that way i can paint it in as well in the same brown color and i'm going to cut that out because this is going to go on the bottom of my mug 
inside so that way when we place stuff in here because i do want it to be functional after all it is a mug still so you don't have to just use it as a prop for decoration so i'm going to cut that out and i'm going to attach it down to the bottom of the mug using some hot glue i'm just going to plop it down in there and that is it i did add a little juicestring bow onto the handle just to make it look a little bit more cute and again this was super simple to make and i love the outcome it's something a little different a little out of the box and i'll show you here in just a second what i put inside to make it more functional and you know uh, stuff like that but i love how it looks it's just so simple to make and i love it just because i love coffee but um uh, let me know what you think of this DIY and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Let me know which is your favorite DIY from today because I love to hear your feedback and your thoughts. Um, again, thank you so much to everyone. Please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. I will see you all on the next one. Take care and God bless. Bye.